Well, good afternoon almost. It's 11.54 on Martin Luther King Day, uh, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, this is uh, Sister Bev on Fabulously Functional, um, doing some juicing today. I just made a wonderful juice and breakfast for my husband. Uh, we did a different combination this morning. We've been doing pomegranate um, apples and grapes. And so I had some fresh blueberries which I was putting in his vegan pancakes. So I decided to use blueberries, apples, and grapes. And oh my goodness, that was a wonderful combination. But I also want to try a different combination um, this morning with some uh, vegetables and an apple. And this particular um, mixture is an immune-boosting um, um, drink. And so I want to share it with you. I want to make it for the first time with you, see how it tastes with you, uh, and then we can just learn and share it together. Uh, so hopefully you all are having a wonderful day um, today, Martin Luther King Day. I shared a video um, of the Cleveland Clinic honoring my father, the late Reverend Dr. A. Charles Bowie. I shared it, um, I, I copied it to the page, um, so you have to go and um, look for that. But uh, my dad passed away in September, um, but he was definitely an icon there in Cleveland and in the Cleveland Clinic area, uh, definitely friends with the Cleveland Clinic, and uh, they loved him, and each year he would host the Martin Luther King Day celebration. So uh, if you get a chance to go and watch that, and you'll get to see a part of me. Uh, once you see my daddy, you'll see that. You know, hey, she looks like her dad. She sounds like her dad. Uh, but um, so I'm just saying that um, if you get a chance to go and look at that. But um, at any rate, I want to show, I'm going to turn your attention towards this uh, plate here. And I'm going to begin to juice. So turn my camera downward. Okay. I'm going to turn it this way just a little bit. Okay, so you see here my juicer. And I have fresh kale, pink lady apples, a carrot, and celery. So one stalk of celery, one medium-sized carrot, two pink lady apples, and about a handful of kale. So I'm going to turn on my machine here. I think I'm going to start with the apple. These apples are sometimes a little stubborn. Yesterday when I made my video, I was saying some of the things I wanted to do. I want to do an Alfredo sauce with cashews. I've uh, been looking at several recipes. I used to make um, shrimp Alfredo. So I want to make a broccoli uh, and maybe portobello mushroom Alfredo uh, over some wonderful uh, pasta some vegan pasta and um, I want to do that and then I want to do uh, the two recipes on vanilla milkshakes it seems like every time I tell my husband I said you know I want to try this he's always thinking about it himself he's like I was just thinking about it I haven't had a milkshake in a while and he said I wonder if you know Bev could make a vegan milkshake so I'm going to do that. So those are a couple of videos that are in the making and that will be coming at you real soon here. So is that all my apples? Okay, so I've done all the apples. Uh, look at the amount of apple juice I have from two pink ladies. So you see that? Okay, so now I'm just going to do my celery. I'm do the celery. Okay. 
one stop of celery. And notice how I had the leaves in there too. I kept the leaves on the stalk because they have nutrients as well. Okay, and now I'm going to do this carrot. Uh-oh, I put the carrot... Okay, so look at all the wonderful colors that are going down into this mixture here. Now I'm going to take all the color away with this kale. <laughs> I've added pretty much all the sweetness with the apples and the uh, carrot. So now I'm going to add some kale. So just think, uh, if you can have all this in a salad, I mean, I literally could have made a salad out of all of these ingredients, put a wonderful vinaigrette on it. Um, but today I'm going to drink it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to pull this last piece of kale that's coming out. Turn that off. Okay. Set this to the side. This is for extra drippings that may come down. So look at all of that fiber. All right, and then I have the juice here. I'm going to just give it a quick stir. With a spoon. A spoon here somewhere. I'm gonna stir it. And now I've got a green juice. It's amazing how that little bit of kale turned this thing green. That means I'm getting all of those enzymes and nutrients. I'm gonna seriously alkalinize my body today with this drink right here. It's got enzymes. This is a cold press machine, so even the machine itself doesn't get hot. Uh, any heat that you add to your vegetables and your fruit uh, begins to break down the enzymes, and then, you know, heaven forbid if you saute it or cook it, then you kill all those enzymes. I'm not going to say you don't. it has no nutritional value, but definitely after you heat it up, it does not have any enzymes in it. And the enzymes are what fortify our bodies and keep uh, viruses from taking over our bodies and alkalinize our bodies, okay? So look at that. I'm going to lay this spoon over here. I got me a nice little glass here. I'm going to pour some of it in here. Okay, we're going to taste it. We're going to see what it tastes like, <laughs> okay? You guys, <laughs> this is delicious. Mm. Absolutely wonderful. Just the right uh, measurements for ingredients. I can definitely taste the carrot. I can taste the celery. I can't really taste the kale, but the apple, the sweetness of the apple and the celery and the carrot is just a wonderful combination. You drink one of these and you have just given your whole immune system a delicious and wonderful boost. 
Uh, I'm going to go ahead and pour the rest of this. <laughs> like I said, Dr. Woodard had his juice this morning. This barrel is just, look at that beautiful color. We see these bright, beautiful colors. Just think to yourself, the, the brightness and beauty of this color is going inside of your body. And it's going to brighten up and beautify your insides, um, which is, I believe, what's most important what's on the inside. Amen. Amen. So cheers to you on this um, wonderful Martin Luther King Day. I wanted to share with you um, all the plants that I repotted. Remember I did the plants? I repotted all of them. They are beautiful. But I, gotta sh I want to share at least the one with you that kind of warmed my heart and made me think about my daddy. A lot of things caused me to think about my daddy in his absence. Um, but hold, hold your mule for just a second. Okay, so I'm back. I moved the camera to my living room area so you can see my kitchen off to my left. And over here is another little area where I sit and um, meditate or do whatever. Um, so I'm still sipping on my my juice. I'm gonna set it right here. But I did on the video. Remember, I did this particular plant. This came from the planter that my mother gave me from my dad's homegoing celebration. So that's that's one of them. And this was the one that was drooping. It was just drooping, and look at that. Perked right up. Beautiful, it fit perfectly in this white pot. So that's the other one. Um, I believe I did this one with you on the camera. This was part of the planter. In this beautiful, uh, opaque, uh, green flower pot that I found. So isn't that, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that. And I really haven't figured out where I'm going to put all these plants. I just have them all on the uh, TV stand, sitting on top of the TV stand underneath my television. Um, this is the other one that I took out of the white pot and put into this bigger pot. And that was just a perfect fit, if you look at that. Um, then I had this one. This was in the planter. And I put it in this beautiful pot right here. It has a little bit of a texture to it. Um, and set that there. And then I have my twin pots. I don't know if you remember the twin pots. But the twin pots, I put my ivy in. So I've got ivy, beautiful ivy coming out of there. And I also have this ivy, which is draping down out of this but I call them my twin pots my twin pots aren't they pretty uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put those either like I said they're all under my television right now uh, this is the one I want to talk about um, I had this little one that was barely hanging on but it was still alive still had some life in it so I said I'm gonna plant it anyway and then I put one of the other sprigs from this one in here with it um, so I had run out of flower pots so being the creative person that I am at times I went in my cabinet and I said I know I got a mug that I could use for a flower pot temporarily so I looked at all my mugs and I saw this one this one said believe um, and so I decided to put those two small, the one that was struggling, I, I decided to put it in the mud. Um, and with the belief that it's going to begin to grow again and get bigger and I'll have to repot it. But believe, believe. Um, and I think this is a great thing to think about on Martin Luther King Day as we think about civil rights as we think about the disparity between races, um, 
as we think about uh, those who are privileged because of the color of their skin. Um, the dream has been deferred just a bit, but we still have to do this. We have to believe. And as I think about these plants that come from my dad's planter for his homegrown celebration, one of the many planters that were given to my mom, um, the pastor, Dr. Marvin McMickle, who eulogized my father, the resounding question that he asked our family as we sat there thinking about how life was going to be without dad. He asked us, do you believe? Do you believe? And the answer, of course, for myself was yes, I believe. I believe that to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. I believe that one day I will see my father again. I believe that change is going to come. I believe in the Father, and I believe in the Son. And I believe that we shall overcome. And I believe that the Lord will see us through. So I just wanted to share that with you. Believe. So when you think about this day and everything that it means to all of God's people, believe. Amen. So that's a bit of encouragement along with my juicing <laughs> today, uh, giving you some encouragement as well. Um, and always remember discouragement. Discouragement is a choice. Encouragement is a blessing. And God tells us to take courage. Courage is not going to just fall in your lap. You have to take courage. Amen. The words of my husband, Dr. Melvin James Water III, in his sermon yesterday, he says, we've got to take courage. Amen. Amen. So God bless you. May heaven smile upon you. It's always my prayer. Um, if I see you again, it'll be on the next video. If the Lord wills, if the Lord says the same on the next video, Hopefully, I'll be doing either the vegan shakes or this wonderful Alfredo sauce, vegan Alfredo sauce that I want to try. So, God bless you once again, and thanks for sharing this time with me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like and share. Bye-bye.